Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover USD versus Japanese yen. I will speak about the gold market, uh, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Japanese yen first. So what we got here, uh, let's start from a daily time frame, is that uh, uh, we have a supported hell at 132.28. And yesterday market closed more like um, in the middle of the range, which is a sign of the strength uh, yesterday uh, based on the close. Uh, today we can see that market um, uh, tried to trade lower uh, and it have this uh, higher low on the um, 15 minute time frame, this mini first higher low that we got here and uh, we can see also that market didn't have a power to sell off fully into the into the pin bar territory so there might be an upside rotation on the USD Japanese yen from my perspective at least towards the yesterday's half level at 133.65 or 70 area and maybe there will be even potential for the market to rotate back to 134.70 uh, pardon, uh, to 135 level. So we will see how this will progress. Uh, yesterday's low, it's at 132.21. And um, we'll see um, what will happen. Um, again, support is set at 132.30 level. Speaking of the gold market, so gold market had a pretty much outside day and market closed uh, positive for the day but with the tail on both on you know buying tail and the selling tail from upside so market went even yesterday towards the 1936 and then closed around 1918 uh, so far making this a pretty much uh, consolidation day so far inside of the previous day range so volatility increased and there was a wide range bar wide range candle yesterday so uh, we will see uh, today's uh, behavior. We have a support at 1910, uh, the intraday support 1909. Uh, um, uh, the market can clear that, so there is a chance, maybe who knows, to the previous day low at 1887. Uh, but overall, this is a sign of consolidation for now, and um, um, you know bracketing market trade both up and down uh, in this uh, range environment uh, that kind of condition so the previous day high is set at 1930 i will say 1936 and previous day low at 1885 speaking of the crude oil so crude oil finally and i alerted about this uh, alerted you to pay attention on this multi multi week range breakdown and that breakdown happened actually at two trading days ago. So this market is pretty much marked down and um, we already have, we're trading lower, but there is still levels to, to test around like 63 area, maybe even 61, 60 area. So there's a still potential for the lower prices on the crude oil. Uh, the momentum is pretty strong and um, <clears throat> there is a, at least potential for the retest of the previous day low at 65.65 so pay attention to this again multi multi week actually multi month range breakdown on the crude oil and um, that was the confirmation that we we wanted and we got that so strong strong selling pressure on the crude oil and speaking of the bitcoin versus us dollar again market is trading you can see the four hour the, just around this rising middle of Keltner line. And um, so far market is all over the place. I don't see this like um, the structure to be you know, any promising structure. So we have a consolidation day inside of the previous day range. And this will be important to watch. So we have a support zone at 20, I will say 23,960. Um, so pay attention to that level and resistance around 25,200. Uh, so far, it's a pretty much consolidation and uh, 
we need to see how this consolidation will go if market can clear and trade lower below 23,960 then it can open the door for lower prices maybe even for the price to back towards 22,500 from other side if market can clear uh, 25,300 uh, and hold above it can open the door even for the pin bar high 26,450 uh, mark so that will be all for this update i hope that you did enjoy your trade safe as always and speak to you from tomorrow morning